Fix your offices and homes But we have it all And this is the only place to be Come on Malcolm To Malcolm Where can the shoes If you teach a woman to my body be sitting there Nana nom de nubnane ha ha masa ya diye. Agbe ve herba senta afa abe fu kwansu. E chichi ya soni nubnane ha ha me mwa mwa diye gulu tuwe mu. Oya si ne ikia wu ana koko ne eha wu. Isi si ne yo ya. Agbe ve toni ki ani we dru. Asa sabro ha wu. Ana ase mpo mpo ta abu bo wu. Ana mpo wu si si mu ta aka wu ju ya. Ti agbe ve bam e chiso. Nebe ju ufo mu. Agbe ve toni ki. Eni agbe ve bam. Eni bitu mi ama uwe unyina tu ucha. A man for Kaye, Sam Koda, a pin for any matter I want my woman for in one doctor and son of a baby. Welcome back. This is Ejafa, and we are celebrating Reverend Osekofi, the wizard dribbler. After one, once you started the football, yeah. you forgot about pursuing your educational in those days, yeah. Apart from your family, who will do that for you? Uh -huh. And I got to know there's nobody to help me. That right. is why the ladies have been sent to secondary the school. school. That's why I have to uh -huh. fend for myself. Okay, so then you, you decided to go to uh, football as a full-time career. This is when I was uh -huh. with my father in Tema. Right. Because of the woman my father married. married. You know, right. I had, because I decided to stay with people who play football. Right. And that is why... Right. So they became like your mentors and your, your guide. Your guide. This is yeah, it. right. And that is why I was happy. I had a chance of being a class house of folks. Mm. I stayed there. I met a Griffin. I met Amuda Amadu Akuse. I met Adu Dakon, Adukwe Lai, Lam Timbers. These are, these are the names of mm -hmm. the people in football those days. You know, yeah? in those days, mm. they were all national stars. Wow. I remember we even represented Ghana in one of our competitions against Ivory Coast. And uh, after the season, has won the league for the first time. Phobia. Never say that. Never say that. Until the bones are rotten. Are rotten. And when is the bones going to rot? Never ever. Never <laughs> ever. <laughs> so, in House of Folks, I had a problem, mm. which I nearly stopped playing. Okay. I didn't know my first time of playing in the Premier Division. We were in camp on Saturday. In the evening, they brought some, in the olden days, uh, Ovaltin. Mm, yeah, I know pure Ovaltin. one, and yes. uh, bread and some. And uh, I ate very well. I slept very well. The following morning, by 11 o'clock, that is Sunday, we were to play Accra Great Olympics. They brought fufu. <laughs> Light soup and some sheep. I didn't know. I took two balls. Because that was my first time. My young man has been in camp of a class of folks for such an opening match against Accra Great Olympics. After eating, I felt I was too heavy. Mm. So about 2.30 to 3, when we were about to start to dress, mm. I was feeling asleep. Mm. And then who am I going to? tell yeah because I was so heavy I knew I, I can't do it so yeah. I kept quiet we went to the stadium and I was able to count the balls I touched in the 98 minutes game six and in those days there was only a graphic and times in Ghana mm -hmm. plus Sunday mirror mm -hmm. that is that comes on Sundays hey, fufuya kopasa mama. Kopasa mama. one moment <laughs> I'll pick a call and I'll come back to the fufu, the end story of the fufu. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Ejapa. We are celebrating Reverend Osekofi. Uh, and I'm sure that you have something to tell us about this uh, master dribbler or wizard dribbler, as he was called. Uh, 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 my name is Akwaba. <laughs> Ejakwaba. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, please go on. Um, a little bit, uh, uh, I would say nine years ago, but I normally I choose to call him a good sportsman. Because, uh, you know, the sportsmen have their qualities. They easily forbid uh, when somebody passes them. And uh, they accept results when they are defeated, you know. So these are the qualities of a good sport or a great footballer. Right. Uh, I got 
about his forgiving spirit yes. the fact that he he's quick to let go that's yes. a mark of a great leader yes. uh, that you don't hold grudge and let the sun set on your anger yeah and that uh, he, he that's his very jovial is true he's gotten me laughing the whole time he's yes. been talking to me he, he has a lot of knowledge to offer to the uh, sport uh, uh, fraternity uh, family Right. But uh, unfortunately, it's like uh, uh, those in the helm of affairs are not aware of his quality. You know, mm. everybody has his strength and his weakness. But in our society, we look at uh, your weakness and look your, uh, condemn your own positive things. So instead of uh, relating, communicating with him carefully, it's a, it's a lot he, 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 he can give to the society. Well, you know? I assure you, that uh, uh, Japa and TV Africa recognizes yes. that indeed he is uh, a, a man to, li be, to, to be listened to as far as football yes. is concerned, and that's why we are celebrating him. We, yes. we, we believe in him. We believe that he has contributed immensely to the football uh, history in our country. So I thank yes. you very much for talking with us. Okay. Uh, do you want to say anything to your friend? <laughs> Papa. Papa. <laughs> uh, thank you for uh, what one, you, yeah. you have said about yeah. me. Yeah. You know, when, when I was in Kumase, I was staying with you. I, you know the food I like best in those days. Yeah. Could you remember? Mask cake. Mask cake. In those days, you like mask cake. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Thank you very much for talking with us. Yeah. And we wish you well. Yeah. Thank you. Mas Keke. Yeah, poor Osem Yebimau. We hope you remember the good old days. Yeah. yeah so let's, let's go back to the story about uh, yeah, eating too much fufu yeah. on the pitch. So, so what it means is that when you're going to play mm -hmm. football, you shouldn't yeah. eat heavy food. No, 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 not at all, mm -hmm. not at all. It makes you dull, eh? Yeah, it will make you dull. Mm -hmm. And uh, even when you are running, uh, something will be jumping in your stomach. <laughs> you and this is exactly what happens. The happened food will be to making giddy giddy. Giddy giddy in your stomach. <laughs> if you don't take time grass, some soup will come from your nose. Wow. Very, very difficult. So I see. after the match, I got to know graphic and times. Mm. If you do well, or not do well at all, your name will appear. Eesh. So 5 a.m., I was at the graphic. I bought the first paper. Mm. When I look at the back, mm. I saw the boy was too young for such big matches. Mm. I haven't read through, but right. I got to know it was me. Yeah. <laughs> then I went to Times. I bought one. I, I saw at the back of it, the boy was too, uh, he was afraid of the crowd. So when I read through, then I got to know it was about me. Mm. So I came down by 5.30 to mm. the house, pack up my things. I was staying in a class of those clubhouse. Mm. I pack up my things and I, I left Okofodia. I have stopped playing football. They didn't send you away. You, you uh, left yourself. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Wow. So you took that 
writing in the paper as an indictment on your performance and w you were ready to pack up. I, I went to Kofodia to stay there throughout the whole week, not knowing a class of work. They were combing to my class. Looking for you. And they, they nearly been sending to papers that are missing. So <laughs> I think somebody <laughs> told them that, no, they should come and check from Kofodia. Kofodia. So on Saturday, mm. I, I woke up, I opened the door to come and paste. Not knowing they were just parked in front of our house. Mm. So when you are in the street, you see mm. where I was sleeping. Right. So when I opened the door, and they saw me. And later I saw them, I wanted to get in. Then they shouted, oh, Yahoo, da, da, da. <laughs> so they came. I said, what? I said, why? I said, I, I couldn't do well. I saw folks. Have you seen the papers? Yeah. <laughs> they said, oh, I said, how can you be assessed with only one, one match? match. Amadou Akusi came with some two friends. And by then, my mother was in market. Mm. So they came there at 9 a.m. Mm. We just argued that up to 5.30 when my mother came back from the mm. market. And they told my mother, my mother started weeping. I said, hey, you want me to go back? Mm. OK, if I'm, I will go. If something happens, I, I will blame you. I said, I will go. <laughs> so, Robert, uh, uh, <laughs> I was going to interrupt your thoughts there, but I'll have to pick a call. Hello. Mm. Yeah, hello. Yes, my name is Jifa, and I have Reverend Osekofi with me in the studio. I'm sure oh, you have. Okay. I'm sure you have something to tell me about him. Well, Reverend Osekofi is a good statesman. He's a legend, but for now, I'm just going to talk to him about him being a great father. Um, him being um, a strict father, fair, but fair, he brought us um, up in a Christian home, which means he gave us um, Christian values. Um, with him, he said the fear of the Lord was the beginning of wisdom. That's right. There are a lot of attributes which I'll say by saying he's a kind, calm, very loving father, very patient. He's very proud of his kids as well. He's an honest man. He's always himself. He's a father first and a friend second. Mm. He is very respectful. And above all, he's always there when you need him most. That's wonderful. There is one thing as well that uh, my dad taught us that we've lived with. He always says, a good name is better than riches. riches. When I was young, I never used to understand it because I thought, you know, you need material stuff if you really want to compete in the real life. But I've grown now to understand what it meant when he said that. Because of the good name that my dad has left, or he's had an impact on us everywhere that we go. Even money cannot take us that, but because of the privilege that I've had him being my dad, I'm able to just go anywhere that I want to go. So it's such a wonderful feeling having him as the father. Wonderful. Wonderful. Is that Emmanuel? Yes, Emmanuel. Oh, Emmanuel, you have such amazing things to say about your father. He has raised you well. And, and I thank you for sharing that part of him that we don't get to hear um, often when his name is mentioned. When, we, when yes. we hear his name, usually it's with his skills on the pitch. But you've brought to us the human side, that, um, the family side that we didn't know before. And, and I want to yeah. thank you very much for that. Yeah, and then tell hello to him and then tell him that I've got a big surprise for him very soon. He's listening to you, actually. <laughs> is yes, he no is. I can do what they say. I can do what they say. That is nice. <laughs> <laughs> that is nice that you have yeah. such a wonderful relationship with your father. Yeah. Is yeah. the reason why we are celebrating him today? Oh, that's so beautiful. That's yes, so beautiful. yes. I'm Emmanuel. So proud of him as well. Right. Uh, Thank uh, you so much, Emmanuel. You're very, very welcome. Thank you. Right. Whoa. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah. To be alive and to hear your child speak with you the way he did. And to ask you, no, yeah. what it is? That that's fun. That's yeah. that's really nice. Um, we don't hear of father and children relationship yeah. positive vibes like this from uh, families these days. 
you know, so it's a good thing to hear yeah, sometimes you. we learn from our mistakes that's right you know after playing football mm. in those days mm. up to today if i look back mm. you know when my father left it means there was nobody to send me right. to school and uh, i had distinction in form four so mm. i knew i could do better you could yeah in yeah. education right. but nobody right. and uh, that compelled me could you believe there Not was to a, give that same treatment to your own children mm. there was a day mm. ghana footballers the oldies were going to be honored live on tv mm -hmm. it was announced throughout the whole country mm. and uh, these children were watching mm -hmm. television live mm -hmm. and they didn't know what they gave to mm -hmm. us a tea kettle ah and that is the reason why when i came back home they were laughing at me da so you know now one group was say you was a you tea kettle <laughs> then there is nothing in football for us to play right. i had two boys who were even better than me but they decided but they did not, not to play. pursue it because of the treatment that was given to me. So it means that in your day, mm -hmm. football didn't quite pay. No, no, no. We were purely amateurs right. playing for the love of the game. Right. I remember Kotoko went to Zaire playing a cup final. When the Zaireans were promised a house if they win, if Kotoko wins, we are going to get a track suit up and down. Now, these two. Which one do you think if they pray God will listen? <laughs> <laughs> and they beat us. Yeah. Reverend, when did you become a, a reverend? I remember there was a friendly match between Kotoko and Haas at Price. Mm. And during the match, I got injured, which I didn't see. Okay. So when we came from the top of the mountains to Nkoko, mm. I had a policeman friend. He has a, his own car, so I had to drop from the Kotoko bus and be and with him. So right. in the night when I was going to take my bath, he saw that my leg had swollen. And he said, ah, Kofi, when I look at it, then I saw, no, there's something wrong. So I told him, then tomorrow morning, I had to rush to Kumasi to see to it that mm. it is, because there was a match the following weekend. Mm -hmm. When I got to Kumasi, and uh, I went to the hospital straight, Treatment was given, but when I came back home, it was rather swollen more. That is where the next day, I couldn't go to training, but I went there, and one of our goalkeepers, uh, goalkeeper Butchwe, mm -hmm. he told me, ah, I said, no, I have a friend here who is a pastor, let's go and see him. Mm. And uh, the pastor was a former goalkeeper for Kotoko. Okay. And uh, he told me, I said, before you came, I saw what has happened to your leg, but I want you to see it by yourself. Mm. So he gave me seven days fasting. I was then not a Christian. I don't go to church. Only I read the Bible. Right. So I did the seven days. And the fifth day, I saw those who just did that. And they told me what to do. They asked me to go and buy olive oil for a pastor to bless it and just use it. And truly, when I told the pastor that this is the dream that I had, they said, go and buy it. They said it. So I bought an olive oil. And when, in three days' time, it was body. gone. And that is where I started going to church. Reverend, I have to interrupt <laughs> you again. I, I, sadly, I have to interrupt you again. But I'll, you have to continue that a bit of the story for me. Okay. I'll pick a call and then I'll be right back with you. Hello? Hello? Yes, welcome to Ejapa. Uh, welcome. Uh, thank you. I'm, I'm, I have a Reverend Osekofi with me. And yeah. I'm just enjoying everything that he's telling me. But I'm sure you have your own... Uh, uh, views about who he is and what you want to share with us. Yeah, uh, Reverend Osoko P, um, was together at the juvenile level at Koforidua, and in fact, since the time we were, we played, we played in the youth team, it was very marvelous, and in fact, uh, it was, uh, uh, our last warrior that uh, we played in uh, our team was uh, Cornerstar Football Club. That is the whole team. Mm. And in fact, he is, uh, contributed a lot to our success. And uh, in fact, uh, uh, he continued to come to Accra and play for 
he played for Hearts of Hope and then moved to Kosovo. And in fact, his contribution towards Ghana football has been very, 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 very great. And uh, I think uh, later he became reverend, and uh, he's still reverend. And uh, I believe uh, Reverend Osei Kofi uh, is one of our legend, living legends in Ghana football. <laughs> Hi, Ibrahim. <laughs> oh, I mean, the, both of you, your names are engraved in the history of football in our country. And to have you say such kind words about him is also a celebration of its own. And uh, we, we thank you for talking uh, about him the way you have. And uh, I assure you, uh, through, a, through a Japa, we also will let him know how much we appreciate him for his uh, contribution to your, uh, your, your sport, yeah. which is uh, football. Yeah. I, uh, I want to thank you very much for the time. Okay, thank you very much too. Thank you, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You brought a smile to his face. Pardon? You brought a smile to his face. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, so thank you so much. <laughs> okay. I think it was a surprise to him, isn't it? It was a surprise to him. <laughs> it was a surprise to him. <laughs> as soon as he realized it was you, he broke into a smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay. thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Reverend, you became a reverend because you, you had a problem with your foot. Yeah. And then you went to see this pastor, yeah. and uh, he made you fast. Mm -hmm. And after the fast, you became convinced that you should be a church-going Christian. Yeah, because of the healing. Because of the healing that you got part, from, yeah. uh, from, from, the the, from the fasting. Yeah. Well, you will tell me the end bit of that story when we come back. Okay. But viewers, I'll take a short commercial break, and when we do. Come